Hey y'all, hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely, wonderful day so far. My name is Mandy and today's video is gonna be a little bit different. So I didn't wanna talk about the Amazon Prime Day sale or the big Nordstrom sale because in my opinion, and I know nobody asked, but I just kind of feel like they're a little bit scammy, like just a little bit. So instead, <laughs> I'm gonna be taking y'all along with me to my home, away from home, and that is TJ Maxx. And like most stores right now, we're all in a sort of weird, like seasonal transitionary period where winter is priced like at pennies on the dollar, spring and summer is being thinned out to make way <laughs> for full priced fall. Except for Hobby Lobby, because they've already gone like full blown Christmas time, <laughs> which is just wild. So buckle up baby, grab a snack, and come browse with me at TJ Maxx. So I have to film this as a voiceover because the music inside the store is gonna get my channel demonetized and you're gonna be stuck with me for the next five minutes or so saying that everything is cute. <laughs> but the first order of business is finding a bag. I'm looking for a fall bag specifically, one that's great quality. And this one immediately caught my eye because of the color. It is so, so pretty. It's like an avocado green. It's a very unusual green. And it has this really nice gunmetal hardware. The one sitting directly on top of it is from the same brand. It's called Viola Castellani. And the hardware is heavy. It's like real quality made and it's on clearance for $99. And I also like this subtle taupe shade. Going back down the aisle a little ways, I found this genuine leather slouchy bag from the brand Marlin for $70. And I don't know why, but I always love <laughs> the fact that they color coordinated their bags. They have like bright and colorful bags on the first few aisles. And then they have like black browns and neutrals on the other. It's like everything's so easy to find. But while venturing through, I found this stunner that is also from the brand Viola Castellani. It's also genuine leather and it's very similar to a Bottega Veneta bag with the weave design. It's suede on the inside too, great price. Next, I made my way to the soaps, the hand soaps and the lotion section, <laughs> which this is where we're gonna get the first real glimpse of fall and Halloween themed decor in the store. Some smelled like green apple and then others were like the typical like apple cinnamon and pumpkin spice. As far as like the Halloween decor goes inside this TJ Maxx, the pillows were my favorite. I absolutely loved Frankenstein's monster. It's like Frankenstein's monster anything is just right up my alley. <laughs> and like cruising around the store, it was almost like overstimulating. There was a lot to look at. I did come across some really cute candles, case in point, <laughs> Frankenstein's monster, but have you ever seen a $150 candle with an anti-theft device? Just asking, <laughs> because you can't say that tomorrow. This is from the brand Missoni, and they have candles on their website for $600, y'all. I mean, like, it's setting your money on fire, literally. I don't understand it. So yeah, lots to look at this time around, and at this point, I start hearing thunder outside, and it's supposed to be a complete deluge. We're supposed to get like six inches of rain today, and I have no umbrella. <laughs> so we're just gonna be wrapping this up, and head back onto the house. Okay, and we're back, <laughs> sort of. Spoiler alert, I've been here the whole entire time, <laughs> but I got the goods and I just wanna ask y'all a really quick question. Like out of the three or four or five handbags that I showed you in the video, which one would you say that I gravitated towards the most? I'll give you a second, because if you would have guessed that I gravitated towards the suede bag with the really big gold chain, <laughs> you would be correct. And just as a side note, if you are interested in checking out this bag, I will have it linked in the description box below on the TJ Maxx website. It's gonna begin another color though. I think the color is called papaya, which is a chestnut brown, absolutely beautiful, but it's not the same. So I just wanted to mention that really quickly, but it's made of 100% genuine suede. It's made in Italy, and it seems to be like a relatively hardy, like nice sized bag. So it's measured at 14 inches wide, which is plenty big enough for me to put all my weird like <laughs> Armageddon necessities into it. And I just thought that the rich like a minky taupe color would look amazing with my fall and winter wardrobe. Y'all already know, like <laughs> grays, blacks, neutrals, that's how I roll. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that every single time that I post a TJ Maxx video, I'm talking about their food products. <laughs> 
This video is gonna be no exception because I picked up some potato chips. I love the Deep River Snack potato chips, specifically their honey barbecue. I think that's what it's called. They're barbecue something. And the last like three or four times that I've gone, they just don't have them. I'm guessing they're sold out. But I saw these because they reminded me of a hamburger considering they're like all dressed up. We in Louisiana say fully dressed, but I'm guessing it tastes like a hamburger because it's got onions and ketchup and something else on here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure. Not hamburger at all. <laughs> Next, I picked up a huge jar of fig preserves. This is a 24.69 ounce glass jar of fig preserves from the brand Lord Lighten. And if you've never had fig preserves on like a fresh, like hot out of the oven buttered biscuit, you are missing out. <laughs> it's so good. It will make you want to just slap your mama. I'm thinking that like biscuits in the US is the same thing as like a, a savory scone in the UK. Is that correct? I, I really don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. But either way, it is life changing if it's fresh pastry, life changing <laughs> when it's got thick preserves. And I mean, figs in general are just decadent. And then finally in the food group, I picked up my family some instant coffee. They have been loving community coffee for the longest time. And here recently, I don't know what happened, but they believe that instant coffee is far superior to any fresh brewed coffee on the market right now. So, you know, it just is what it is. I have no skin in the game because unfortunately, Coffee in general is a delicacy that I can never enjoy. It just gives me like the liquid hot magma poops. <laughs> Did I need another pair of earrings? Absolutely not. <laughs> but I tell you this, when I walk into a TJ Maxx store, the earring section is my kryptonite town. <laughs> <laughs> they are some of the cutest earrings. They're festive, they're fun, they're reasonably priced for the brands that you choose. And I mean, I couldn't pass these up because this is what they look like. So this is from the brand Piper K. They're just dainty little mother of pearl bows that look so comfortable. They're not heavy, they're not gaudy. And I just thought that the little like hoops at the top kind of allowed the bow to like move freely. So it kind of catches the light and just looks so pretty. And I loved them, $9.99, not too bad. <laughs> So the next thing that I picked up at my local TJ Maxx is a pair of shoes that unfortunately I regretted purchasing as soon as I brought them home. Not because they're not beautiful, I think they are fabulous, but because they just don't fit one of my feet properly. So these are genuine alligator leather peep toe heels from the brand Giorgio's of Palm Springs, which I had never heard of. But when I got home and I did some research, these are made in the same manufacturer as the SJP from Sarah Jessica Parker's line. I could have died. They both have the exact same genuine suede bottoms with that telltale insignia right there as well. So these are probably like four, five, six hundred dollars shoes retail. And I found them on clearance for 30 some odd dollars. And I'm just, I'm like, crying inside and also blissfully happy inside as well. They just don't fit. I usually wear a nine. They're listed as a size nine, but they fit more like an eight and oh, they hurt. <laughs> they hurt so bad and yet so good. And now finally, I wanted to talk to y'all about the beauty and the skincare aisle, which usually under normal circumstances are the sections that I hone in on, I love shopping the like discounted makeup stuff. It's so fun, it's like treasure hunting. But this time around, I noticed how like picked over and discombobulated everything was. And I started talking to the checkout lady and she told me something that just broke my heart. She said that teenagers all summer long have been going there by the truckload and shoplifting every single week. They just come in, with buggies, they load it up and they just run out of the store. And uh, it just sucks and it makes me mad and it makes me sad because here I am 
just like, you know, filming, doing stuff. And I'm getting this information from an elderly employee who can't do anything. She can't like intervene or interject in any sort of way because she could lose her job. She could lose her life. And it just makes me really frustrated. <laughs> so I had to vent a little bit. I'm super, super sorry. So um, I try to keep it light and bright here on my channel and like full of love and everything. And sometimes things just get in the way. But out of all that, I did find a couple of really nice tidbits to talk about. So while I was there, I did find this really adorable Pat McGrath Bijou Jewel Temptation Palette that actually retails for $76 and it was $20, which <laughs> I'm gonna show you a photo right now because the inside, like the color story, it just is distinctly fall. But I also found this palette. So this is from the brand ColourPop and this is the Your Golden Palette. So this is the one that I ultimately went with. And you know, I, I bought it for a couple of reasons. One, because it was a lot cheaper. It was on clearance for $10 instead of $20. So of course it was more budget friendly, but it has a lot more colors to choose from. It has a wonderful, wonderful reputation. So I looked at the reviews and everybody who tries this palette loves this palette. And the color story was just right up my alley. Am I lamenting my decision about picking up the ColourPop over the Pat McGrath palette? <laughs> just a little bit. So yeah, that is gonna do it for this TJ Maxx fall haul video. I hope y'all found this video helpful, enjoyable, and just a little bit entertaining. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, Thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy in this wild, crazy, weird world that we're living in. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> I'm gonna be seeing y'all very, very soon.